So these are instructions to assemble my diaper bag. This piece of prep work is a trim piece that I'm going to add to the front of my bag. So it's a sort of like a piping type look that you'll see on a lot of diaper bags. I have to do four of them, two for the front, two for the back. So I have a dowel here. It's just a craft dowel. I'm going to put along the length of my piece. I'm going to slowly kind of fold my paper over so that my dowel is encased in the paper. I'm going to grab my bone folder and create an edge. Now this is just some nylon rope, two millimeter diameter, so it's not very thick at all. So this is the filler that I'm going to use to create that piping. Use my bone folder, squish that cord, and I'm putting glue in the crevice and then all along the edge like so. I'm going to place my cording back in there with my bone folder just going along the edges there. If it doesn't meet exactly it doesn't really matter because it's going to get hidden and then I'm going to cut my edges at an angle like so. I'm going to have to trim them but then I'll apply them to my bag like so. So this is one of the front pockets on my diaper bag and I'm just folding down on all the score lines. I'm applying text to this little pocket and I've cut the text out of some iron-on scraps. This is my base layer and I'm going to center it as best I can within the score lines. So I'm putting it a little bit towards the bottom because I have a border that goes up here and I don't want it to interfere. So I've gone to look at the Cricut heat guide online. The Cricut Easy Press 2, which is what I have here, and Everyday Iron-On, which is the iron-on that I'm using. The base material is cardstock, so I have to press at 280 degrees for 30 seconds. But I want to tack on the first layer and then do the top layer. So I'm not going to do for the full 30 seconds. I'm just going to do enough so that my iron on sticks. Now I have my top layer of text. I'm just putting that down in position. And again, I'm following the recommendations of the heat guide. And then I have my second pocket and I did some iron on for my little elephants as well. I'm just going to glue them on. I've got my text on one side, my elephants on the other. Now I have these rectangles that have score lines. Two of them are long and two of them are short. So one of them goes along the pockets that's going to be reserved for the side of my bag. So that's the narrower pocket. The other two are for the pockets that are on the front of my bag. So I fold it along the score lines and then I'm just going to put glue on the outer edges from the score line to the cut edge and then I'm gluing those sides down like so. And this is going to go at the top like so. I'm putting it in a V formation with the sides that I've just glued down on the inside of the V. And I'm just putting glue along the whole inner piece. I'm gluing it down from score line to score line at the very top. I'm making sure that the top of my fold is exactly at the top of that paper. But that glue is setting with all those different layers. I'm just sort of curving it a little bit. I'll do that with the other side as well. And this is one of my side pockets. So the fold for my side pockets is as follows. You want to fold the first line down, the second one towards you, and the third one away from you so that it makes like a W. I'm going to do that on both sides. And the bottom is the exact same thing. They all tuck neatly underneath your pocket like so. So when you look on the right side, you don't really see the thickness. But when you put things inside, there's plenty of room. So we're going to embellish the front of the bag while it's still flat. First I have these trim pieces that I created and I want to adhere them on each side like this. So I'm going to have to snip them so that the right length. I made them a little bit longer in order to make it easier to glue in the piping and I need it to be approximately there. So I'm just going to snip it. I'm just putting glue along the length and then trying to get this as straight as I can. I'm going to do the same for the other side. So that trim piece isn't 100% necessary. I just thought it was a fun little detail. 
I've already done my side pieces. My side pieces are done the exact same way as these. However, you have to just center it between the score lines so that it's centered on the side like so. It's like, not quite a quarter of an inch at the bottom, so a little bit narrower than that. And I want to keep that more or less consistent for the front as well so that they look like they're on the same height. I want to position these so that they're about a quarter of an inch from the side of my bag and a little bit less at the bottom here like so and I want to make sure that everything is nice and straight relative to the edge. With the front it's easy to tell which way is up and which way is down so which way is the bottom and which way is the top. The top flap if you look at the tabs they have slits in them for the handles so you know that's the top and the way to differentiate them on the side pieces because you don't have that slit for the handle on the side pieces is that here's a very small triangle but at the bottom it's a very large triangle so just keep that in mind because if you put it the other way around you're going to run into trouble so i've put glue between the score line and the cut edge on both sides and at the bottom carefully positioning my piece so that it's about a quarter of an inch from the side, maybe a little bit more. Very narrow strip at the bottom here. Go in between the folds there and make sure that my sides are adhering. And I'm going to do the same thing for the pocket on the left hand side. So I'm running my finger along just at the top, at that trim at the top, just to create a little bit of a curve here. This is my bottom piece. It's 110 pound cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker than what I usually use. I'm going to attach my sides to it. So I'm just putting glue along that bottom tab and then face down on the mat. I'm making sure that the side of this, even with the score lines of my piece, that score line from my tab is right against the cut line of my base. So I'm going to do that with the other side as well. Okay, so next I'm going to take the front of my bag. It's between those pieces. So I'm just going to put glue on the tab that's at the bottom of my piece, on the inside of the tab that's on the bottom of my piece. I'm flipping it around and adhering it to my base. I'm just going to turn it around. Make sure that my piece is properly in position. So now I've got my back piece, which I haven't prepped at all. And I've got my decorative pieces that I'm going to glue down just like I did for the front. My back piece, I decided not to adorn it in any way, shape or form. I'm just putting glue along the tab that's at the bottom. Again, there's slits at the top, so you know you have it the right way around. Position your piece, flip it around, and just make sure you have it exactly where you need it. Obviously I have two handles, and I have two strips like this for each handle. One strip like this, and then I have the decorative strip that runs on the handle itself. So, I'm going to do the decorative strip to begin with. I'm going to glue it so it's about half an inch below that debossed line, like so. I'm going to do that on the other one as well. Insert both handles in the slits that are at the front, at the top of my piece. So this is the inside of the front of my diaper bag. I'm placing the top of my bag so that it's straight on my mat. It's right at that line on my mat. I know that I want to place my handle so that it's straight and then just glue on the tab and making sure everything is nice and straight and I'm just going to do that for the other side as well. I'm putting glue on the tab, gluing them down like so. I'm just going to go in there and put a little bit of glue on the top of the tab here just make sure I'm gluing down this top. And the handles for the back of the bag go together exactly the same way. I'm going to put glue on this side tab here. I'm bringing up my front panel and I'm bringing up my side panel, making sure that they meet 
but not the side. So I've got my piping and I, I don't want to bring it up to the edge of the piping. I want to bring it up to the edge of the paper that the piping is adhered to. I'm going to go inside and just press down on that seam and make sure it takes like so. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. I'm putting glue all along the side tab. My front is already in position, so I'm just bringing up my side. I was pressing it into position, and now I'm pressing firmly on the glue to make sure that it takes. And then I have a liner for the inside of my diaper bag. I'm just putting glue all along this piece, and I'm just positioning my piece, pressing down. I have this piece that goes on the bottom. So I'm just going to put glue on my liner piece. There was a problem with my camera where I was filming the part where I assembled the second side. Unfortunately, I don't have a video that shows putting glue on the tabs that are on each side. I just fold up this back portion of the bag. You want to make sure that that tab is straight along the back right at this edge. You have to do that on both sides and then go in there with your bone folder and spread out the glue. There is another piece just like for the front. We're just going to put glue all over this panel and put that extra piece of lining in. So you just glue that down. And then there are going to still be these two flaps on either side. We want to put glue on them and fold them inwards and then just glue them down. This makes a nice reinforced edge on both sides of your diaper bag. Hopefully the similarities between the way that the front and the back go together is enough to help you put it together properly. I'm just putting glue on the piece that belongs on as a liner for the bottom and it fits right on top. All right so now we have to just finish up the handle. So I'm just putting glue about half an inch, not much, and I'm adhering this, that embossed, that debossed piece is on the top, and my linking piece is at the bottom on the underside. About half an inch of glue on the other end of that piece, gluing the other end of my handle to it so that it looks like so. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other handle as well. I'm putting glue about half an inch in from the end and just securing it to the end of my handle that has that debossed image on it. Half an inch of glue again. I'm grabbing the other end, making sure nothing is twisted, everything is straight. And so those are my handles. So after I put it all together, I realized that I wanted a bit of a finished edge to my bag. I cut thin strips to size and I just added them and glued them around the top of my bag. I'm going to have to add them to the file, but that's what those are for. So just to glue along the edges, just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. 